Okay, so this is what's going on with the unemployment, state unemployment, the extra $300. Okay, so I'm in California and I am like looking because a lot of people says, okay, basically rule number one, who is eligible? So it kind of sucks. Those that need it the most, people that, workers that apply that have less than 100 in state benefits, won't receive the extra 300 because their weekly benefit will fall short uh which triggers the state match to get the federal funds so i don't know what that means except for like if you don't make over a hundred dollars so people that make it a lot like a lot like if you're making 400 and 500 dollars a week whatever which is not a lot when you have a lot of bills but if you're a hundred dollars or less that means you are in the most critical position like you're gonna be stressed out because those are the people needed the most people that are making like be under a hundred a hundred two hundred and three hundred who can pay their rent and eat food and pay their internet bills with three hundred dollars a week no one and especially the people if the people hundred and under if they're making less than a hundred those are the people that need the most 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 help they're going to be in danger so um it says um you know any state can opt to pay the 400 and um the people in montana and kentucky seem to be excited and they're there they said yes so they look like they want to help their state so if you're montana and kentucky you're going to get the extra 400 and so that looks really great um and um i wanted to just tell you this that you know the uh, the benefits um trump president trump signed an executive action august 8 calling for 400 and weekly unemployment benefits to replace the 600 federal sub supplement that expired in july which doesn't make sense if you want to replace it well the people that were getting the help if they didn't make over 100 are now losing any kind of help um so it's not replacing anything so that's misleading and um said uh so then uh somebody said the trump administration said oh it's only 300 a week a state wouldn't have to put additional funds if it pays a worker 100 a week benefit so it's kind of confusing there so um let me just tell you um it says a lot of states um have minimum unemployment benefits below a hundred according to the labor department so therefore the state would have to apply for a fema grant to get the 300 from the federal government so i i'm hoping that will happen and it says as of friday um 13 states which are colorado iowa louisiana M missouri montana michigan arizona kentucky new mexico utah oklahoma and idaho and maryland um have applied according to fema and then others that said that they are gonna um, apply for the aid include california arkansas indiana north carolina texas tennessee virginia west virginia washington and alabama and oh yeah south dakota oh, decided to opt out and decline trump's offer thank you governor christy noam i really bet everyone's pleased with that right i mean talk to your governor do these people really care they're elected by the people for the people or they only care about big business this is really upsetting you know i mean they have jobs they have their job because they're voted in by the people to work for them but when you look at people in office you're like oh lobbyists will line your pockets and one person got three hundred thousand dollars to vote mandatory vaccine so there you go i mean so that's what's going and they said are you know I, and it says the benefits are retroactive so once the state set up it will um you know it will be retroactive and go back to august 1st so that is what i'm reading and learning about this is how long it will take you know i mean that's the key like how long it will take who knows um and they said um ha has any state started paying benefits yet so according to the articles um arizona department of economic security you know arizona the first state to send out benefits so arizona might be a place that you want to move to um so basically and who gets left out low wage workers who need the help um they're saying at least one million unemployed workers earn less than 100 a week it's probably more like 
that number is probably higher. So those are the people that are going to really, really be hurt, hurting. And they said, how long will the benefits last? I believe till December 6th. The program runs until December 6th. So there you go. And um, that's what's going on. So if you were doing pretty good in your job, you're going to get an extra bonus. And if you were struggling to find a job and struggling to find work and only could get part-time work, you're going to be suffering. So I hope you're not spending any money because you're going to have to, you, the rest of us are going to have to eat brown rice and suffer. So I hope that helps you guys. Just kind of really upsetting to see the people that need it the most are not going to get it. And that's just awful.